Let's talk about uploading files. So the process of uploading files is a special case of submitting a form. So we discussed the form in the previous video and today we will focus on this particular case of submitting a form which is how to move your files from your computer to the server which is located somewhere on the internet. In previous video we discussed those three things of uh, sending data to the server which is query params, simple form and multipart. Because files may be large and they can be either textual or binary, it would be a good idea to split a file into chunks and send those chunks one after another to the server instead of taking the whole file of unknown size and then send it to the server. So for that reason we can define this format of sending data to the server in chunks and this is multipart. But it's also important to know that you can also send files using simple form which is not generally advised but this is possible. The only problem with a simple form approach is that the body of your request needs to be a string. So it works for textual files without problem, but for binary files, uh, you need to convert it first to the string, just for this specific format. For the simple form, it means that transforming binary to string will increase the size. So the most common way is to use the multipart, which is split the file into chunks and then send it to the server. And when I say binary file, it means, for example, an image or a, a video or a, an audio file, etc. So usually we upload images. So th these are binary files. So it's important to split them first. So when you split those into chunks, you mark each chunk with the boundary section, which is a special string selected so that those chunks can be later combined into the, the proper file. So let's see now in practice how we can implement this functionality of uploading a file. And we will do it in Node.js using TypeScript, but the general idea and the general approach can be applied to any programming language and any web server. So again, we will use uh, Hunsfot for that, for simplicity reasons. And I will call this project Uploader. Okay, it's done. Be sure to have the version 52 of Hunsfeld for this project. If you don't know which version you have, you can always write Hunsfeld version. And if you want to update it, npm install globally Hunsfeld. You can also use npx and uh, type it like that. Okay, so now we have our project. Let's open it in VS Code. And let's again go to the server routes. And here, so again, we will implement our uploading as a post a route. Before we do that, let's start the server. In VS Code, we have those tasks. So if you bring the palette using Control Shift P, you can run a task and Hunsfoot provides some common tasks out of the box. So in our case, it's server. It will run this inside your editor. You can also bind this task run task to a key. And in my case, I, I bound this to control T. So I can just type control T for task and I can just select server, which will start the server inside the editor. Now let's go to the browser, to the port 5544 to see if it works. So it seems it wor it's working. So let's, for example, try hello. So it returns hello Hunsford, which is this message again let's write json it returns to json and so forth so now let's implement our um, uploading so first the route so let's call it this route upload simply and again this is a handler so it takes request a request as input and returns response so we will just write done or maybe upload it so let's test it so in order to do that, I will use this tool called Insomnia, which allows you to uh, customize your requests in a more friendly manner than from command line. 
I will also show you how to do it on the command line, but for now I'll be using that because it's uh, more easy. So we will use the post as the type of request, and this is the our, our URL for the server and upload. So let's send it. So it returns uploaded and nothing happens. So now we need to upload a file. So in Hootspot, the file is available as a part of the request. So as you remember, we have params. So when you type request, you have params, but you also have files which are the files that are being uploaded. So you can destructure again. So last time we did params, this time we will do files. And for now, let's just print it. So let's go back to Insomnia once again and let's send the file. The first thing we need to do is to use the multi-part form as a type. And then we need to provide our name. So let's call it foo. And then we need to provide the, um, the file we want to upload it. So in our case, it would be this file code. And when we click send, we should see the files as a hash with the name we gave it on the form. So foo and some parameters, with, including the data. So now we can just take this data and save it, save it to a file and store it in the file system. So let's do that. The files variable is a hash where each key is the, the name of the field we gave when doing a request, so here. And the value is everything that's taken from the value of that field, which is not only the file itself, but also the name of the file, the length is calculated automatically, the encoding, etc., and the type. For now, we are only interested in the name and the data because we want to get the data and store it on this as using the same name on the server. So we will just take it and we will take it from foo, right? Because this is our uh, hash. So we will just take this field and this field. So now we need to know where to store it. So we will use um, a current working directory on our server. So it's a directory from which this server process is running. So basically it's this, so it's a path to this project. So inside this project, we will store it into static and we will create another directory under static uploads. So we will, so we will import and instead of using traditional file system, we will use this new uh, promise API and we will alias it to fs so that we can simply write fs write file, but this will return a promise. So we will have to await. And here we will um, construct the path to our file. So this is the current working directory. So the path to this project combined with static, which is this directory and combined with the uploads and then the name of our file and data as the, uh, the value. So we need to just include the join. So this will be import join from path, which is a standard library node. We need to mark the functions async. So those errors are not really significant right now. I'm working on fixing them in Hunsvot. So if you stop the server and start it again, you won't have those problems. So I'm, I'm still investigating why they appear, but everything works. They just appear for some strange reason. So now we have that. So file will be written to this directory when we upload it. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's try it. So let's send again the same file as foo. It's uploaded. And now the file appears here. With just few lines of code, we were able to get the file from the request and store it on the server. So we can do the same use, using a form. So let's go again to this index HTML in static, which is this page over here. 
And as before, let's add a form, a post form, and the action would be upload to the one we defined here. And inside, let's define input file in this case. And the name is the name we provide for this field, so it will be foo again. We don't need to provide the ID. The only thing is to provide the enc type. And as you can see, you have three options. And the one we are interested in is the multi part. So we are instructing that the fields from this form will be split in those chunks and sent to the server. And we also need the submit button. Maybe upload. Okay, so now if I refresh, I should have this one field and the upload button. So if I select file, so let's, so let's take this one. And now if we upload it, it's uploaded and it appears on the server. So that's it. Uploading files in Node.js, very simple process. And you can do it either as a, as a form, you can invoke trigger the post request from a tool, something like Insomnia, and we can also do it from a command line. So let's try it from the command line. So again, I will be using HTTP. So I just need to say post upload. I also need to specify this as a form. And in HTTP, I need to provide the name of the field. So in our case, it's foo. And then a path to the file. So we will be sending this again, the same file. So let's remove it from here. The name at and the name and the path to the file. That's the syntax. And if I invoke it, it's uploaded and it appears again here. So that's all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.